Honorable Speaker, in the last three days of Parliament sittings, try to create an image to the world. There is instability in this country and there is no democracy within the Parliament. But that is not the true picture of this country. If you look back the last 25 days that the Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa has taken over, have you seen any developments in armed gangs in the northern North and East provinces? Have you seen underworld activities being held throughout the country? Or any protests being done by professionals or student groups or any sectors? They have all got the confidence of the PM Mahindra Rajapaksa will do something good for this country. But the Speaker, Honorable Karu Jayasuriya, invited only a few Western, Western diplomats to the parliament premises and tried to portray an image to the world that the parliament of Sri Lanka has not adhered to the democratic values of this country. The most democratic way the public can go forward is an election. We are waiting for the results of the Supreme Court judgment. There are rumours that there are economic sanctions being talked about in the Western countries. These sanctions, these threats were there in the 2009 government as well. In 2005, we can remember there was tremendous international pressure on the then government not to continue the war or to adhere to the rules and regulations or the framework that they have pointed out as an economic plan as well as a development plan. But His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa took a different approach, listened to the people of this country. We are quite sure as the government members that His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa as well as His Excellency Maitripala Sirisena together will do everything that is possible to furnish the loans that are to be repaid in 2019 as well as to continue with the development plans and development strategies that was come to a complete stop in 2015 January.